Hello everyone, in this video I and you will break down the data warehouse to understand what are the components, what are the layers in the data warehouse and how the data pipeline populate the data into the data warehouse. Every data pipeline will reset the data from the source. Um, we need to have the data on uh, our system. Um, just imagine that uh, the source is the external system and the landing stations and faculty dimension is the our internal system. Or I can image, I can demonstrate uh, like this. Hold on. We have the source, we have the um, dimension here. Just look like this is the um, external. Let's style a little bit on the top. We have the internal. Just move to the on top. So you can see that uh, we have the external system. We have the source. The source will the data will be uh, from the source to the landing. And from our landing, we need to process some things, some things, and um, like uh, rename engineering and, uh, uh, rules apply. That means we um, rename the columns, clean the duplication, clean the data. So we store data on stations, and from staging, we load the data into fact table and dimension table. The correct flows is. Oh, I'm sorry. The correct flow is we load the dimension first and then we load the fact table. And after the dimension and fact load, we need to do further step that we do the aggregation that we create on the matrix. And the data will be dried together to consume the data. And from here, we have the data will be visualized on the visualization tools like this. Like this one. And in order to, and maybe some, when you are loading the data, you need to keep track the data the record of data from source to the fact table. Um, in some cases that if we gonna backfill the data, we have the exact number of columns that we need to process. For example, if I call the table here, if we call the table here, if the data is, um, for example, uh, cell, Transaction. We have the church transaction. We have the PK. We have the um, names, for example. And we have the one thing that we call the tracking. Tracking ID. Using tracking ID, we can manage. We can manage all the data from the cell strengths. Let's say. Um, I don't mention the search and, um let's say the raw raw cells we have the uh, landing cells at the same time we have the station cells and we have the Cells, and you can see that we have the tracking IDs is moving forward across the layer. From here, the, if we found that we are missing some data or we need to rerun the data, we know exactly what is the record of the sub system that we need to be um, we, that we need to process. 
and that make our task to be more easy. That is we call the system audit in the system audit. I have separate um um video to talk about uh, why we need to implement the tracking ID here and what is the purpose of the uh, tracking ID using the, the system audit and if we create a another table that like we call the sales so so audit so from here we can track in all the data from sales to this one and we can monitor the data performance and also the data niche using the tracking ID So upload the diagram and the um, information in my data engineering handbook. You can check it out and how and understand how the data warehouse design and uh, how the data pipeline populate the data into the data warehouse and uh, understand the data flow from the source to landing station, load data to dimension table to fact table, aggregate into the data aggregation table, and then um, visualize on the data uh, visualization tools like Power BI or Tableau. And uh, just leave a comment below if you have any questions and hope you gain the knowledge from this video. Bye-bye.